Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas. For Interop 2013, we're in booth 2127. If you're at the show, please come by and visit us. And if you are at the show, you'll be able to see us initiating a distributed denial of service attack against the interop.net network. So, for the third year in a row, F5 Big IPs are playing a significant role in the interop infrastructure, and I thought it'd be cool to meet with Ken Bocchino, third year in a row, Ken, nice to see you. Ken? To give us a little insight as to what we're doing with the interop.net network, you know, what the big IPs are doing, and maybe even get a slight glimpse of a DOS attack on camera without getting arrested. What do you think? That sounds great, actually. That's, why don't we just go ahead and start with a good old DOS attack okay. against the production infrastructure that we're running here at, in the uh, Interop network. So here's a really quick diagram of the high-level architecture. You can see our Vipion 4480 platform uh, is actually providing front-edge uh, connectivity into the Interop network. And this is providing DDoS protection, uh, it's providing DNS DDoS protection, and uh, is allowing us to en enforce protection overall for all the attendees that are on the network here. So I'm going to kick off two really quick uh, demos of the attack. They're coming from the Ixia breaking point devices. We have a 100 gig link up to the cloud, and uh, we have a breaking point device sitting up in that infrastructure that's going to go ahead and initiate a high level of load coming inbound. It's a UDP attack, and then we're going to do a second really quick attack against www.interop.com, which we're protecting with ASM and AFM. Uh, and that's going to allow us to, to ward off that uh, immense amount of load. So we're simulating about 16,000 different bots uh, coming into www.interrupt.com. And so would this be reminiscent of um, how DOS attacks usually occur? It sounded like you were doing a network-based DOS attack initially and then moving to more a layer seven, an application based DOS attack, is that, is that what's occurring? Yeah, so we're seeing that the they're campaigning now, instead of just a simple command and control and someone going after and attacking a network or an application, we're seeing a very more, uh, a well advanced uh, attack that is uh, structured and, and layered to go after the, the network level, and if that does succeed, then go after the application level, try a couple different tactics with that. So uh, this these two quick attacks are just going to simulate uh, a multi-layered based attack across the network. Cool. So here you can see we're actually sending about 34 gigabits a second over that 100 gig link. This is a, this is a diagram, a live diagram from CPacket. So they're actually looking at all of the infrastructure and all the links. And we can see here uh, on the 100 gig link that comes from the Denver Colo that we're seeing about 17 gigabits, 18 gigabits of traffic per second coming across to the front F5 device. And we can see further that the F5 device is actually only sending back into the overall network uh, a lower amount of traffic. So we're seeing about 32, 40 gigabit, or sorry, 40 megabits of traffic passing through us. So we're actually blocking about 18 gigabits of DDoS traffic right now. The, uh, the second attack I'm going to show you here is actually against www.interop.com. Um, this is a visualization of all the web traffic that's currently hitting www.interop.com. I'm going to go ahead and kick off the second attack with the breaking point gear against that infrastructure. And you're going to see very quickly that we're going to get an immense load into our front uh, web infrastructure. Yep, there uh, so there's some, there's some uh, normal web traffic that was successful. And uh, here's the, the DOS attack going against interop.com. And uh, just to show you that we're not lying here, we'll go ahead and go to the Interop website. You saw that came up pretty quick, right? Yep. Uh, this is actually being attacked right now. Um, oh, wow. By about, uh, we can look at a breaking point gear, by about um, 14,000 bot network, or bot devices. So we're successfully thwarting that attack. You can see it very, very visually there. And uh, I actually am going to be doing some additional attacks during the show if you want to stop by. Um, and I think we have some details. Uh, you gave some details on that earlier. Yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow at noon, you're going to be doing the uh, overview of DDoS and the firewall stuff in the uh, interrupt classroom, right? And then this evening at 6.30 in the booth, and then I believe tomorrow around 3.30, you're going to be doing a similar demo such as this. Yes. And you want to join us again on Thursday and we can talk about some of the stats and maybe how much we've blocked and all this kind of cool stuff we usually talk about at, this, at Interop? Excellent, yeah, so let's definitely do that. All right. 
Cool, so there you have it, a little big, little insight as to what the big IPs are doing for the Interop network, and a bit of a, dem not, even a not even like a fake one, a real, a real, DOS attack. a real denial, distributed denial of service attack, both a network layer and an application layer denial of service attack against the Interop infrastructure. Cool stuff. So, for Ken, thanks for joining me, Ken. Always good to see you. Pleasure. I got Christine behind the lens. Thank you, Christine. I'm Peter and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.